guys welcome to multiverse today we are going to take a look at how to get superman's cape uh, basically how to make superman is one of the most requested video i had and somehow never occurred to me to make a video just about the cape uh, someone asked uh, not too long ago so i thought why not I, I, I never made a video about just the cape itself so let's do this so here you can see what the cape uh, looks like on our friend uh, superman well, let's show the old style because why not uh, the one thing is that the, the cape sadly is a pretty old style so as you can see it kind of looks like plastic a bit i will show the most recent version in just a minute but uh, let's take a good look at the the original version of the cape and there's a few places where you can get this cape oh crypto is getting excited so this is the well let's go take a look this is one of two versions of uh, Superman's cape. There's the, there's the House of El War suit that you can purchase in the Watchtower from uh, Power Girl. And there's the Steel suit MK1 that you can purchase from our friend Steel. So the first place where you can purchase a Superman cape is from our friend uh, Steel. You can see the cape right here on the display. It is part of this, the uh, iconic inspired uh, Steel set of gear. So once you reach level 30, you can come straight to see your friend Steel, and you can purchase the cape from him. Uh, on top, you have the DPS version of the cape, so yeah, and you can see the style, Steel Suit MK1. Uh, you have to be level 30 to be able to purchase it from our friend Steel, and as you can see, it costs uh, 12 source marks. And if you scroll down a bit, you will see the, in my case, the, the tank version because this character is a tank. But if your character is a controller, you're going to see the controller version. If you're a healer, you're going to see the healer version and so on. So Steel is the first place where you can go to be able to get the cape. The second place you can go to is to Power Girl in the Watchtower. Uh, in order to be able to purchase it from Power Girl, you have to be tier 2. So once you reach tier 2, then you can purchase it from Power Girl. And you can see the cape again right there in the display. And let's this take a look. This armor packs a lot of power. Prove that you can handle it, and you'll earn a suit that shows everyone what you're fighting for. So same as our friend Steel, uh, the first version is the, the DPS version. And as you can see, I never purchased it with this character. And it caused the same amount of source mark, 12 source marks. And if we scroll down, then uh, in this case, we'll see the tank version. But again, if you're the uh, controller, you're going to see the controller version. If you're a healer, you're going to see the healer version. So you can purchase this cape once you reach tier 2, which is combat rating uh, 43, if I recall correctly. So there is another option, which is the House of L uh, 2019. Uh, let's tweak our colors a bit. Uh, sadly, the one thing about the House of L 2019 is that the emblem is color locked. So the emblem, the S emblem is color locked uh, black and red. So sadly, you cannot have a yellow emblem like the iconic Superman uh, from the past. But the cape does look a bit better than the, the original version. You can see that the, it actually looks like fabric as opposed to uh, the original cape, which kind of looks uh, like plastic. So this one looks a bit better. Sadly, the caveat is that the emblem is color locked. There's nothing you can do about that. It's not true. You can tweak it using uh, some materials. So you can, you can change the color of the emblem using materials, but the whole cape obviously becomes the material. But you do, you do still see the emblem uh, as a texture, sort of. And I can already hear you ask, where or where can we get this cape? Uh, sadly, that's a tricky question. So the cape, sadly, and actually the entire Osovel 2019 uh, style, or actually set of gear in that matter, comes from the option to skip to combat rating 210. So once you skip to combat rating 210, you get the entire Ausovel uh, set of gear, and it is the uh, Ausovel 2019 set of gear. So it is an enhanced version of the Ausovel set of gear. So sadly, that is the only way where you can get uh, this cape right now. And uh, if I recall correctly, to skip to CR combat rating uh, 210, it costs 50 bucks. They did give us one for free uh, in uh, last January, but from what I understand, that option is expired. So right now, if you want to be able to skip to 210, you have to you have to pay for it. And then if you want to have the cape on other characters, you have to use replay badges. And speaking of replay badges, 
If you are an evil villain, you have no choice, you have to purchase the style using replay badges. Uh, the Osseville War Suit, if I recall correctly, costs only 4 replay badges, but the Osseville 2019 costs 22 replay badges to unlock. I guess if you are really lucky, you could get it from Prometheum lockboxes, but uh, the odds of getting it uh, through lockboxes are so slim, uh, you're, you're pretty much going to have to purchase it with your character. And if for some reason you are not, you do not want to play our friend Superman, why would you want to use that cape? Let's take a look. You could use it to try to recreate a somewhat classic version of our friend uh, Supergirl, although I didn't match, I didn't make the Silver Age version, I made uh, pretty much what could be the Bronze Age version from the, the 70s, I suppose. Or you could try to recreate the CW version of the character. Although, come to think of it, if we uh, if we put the chest piece blue and the skirt blue, uh, we pretty much could recreate uh, the version we see on the poster. But this is a uh, somewhat good approximation of the CW version of the character. Or you could use it to try to recreate the evil Red Lantern Supergirl. Uh, during the New 52 era, she was a, a Red Lantern for a short while. I have to admit, didn't really follow that storyline. But you can recreate a pretty darn good looking uh, Red Lantern Supergirl if you want to. And if you are an evil villain, you could try to recreate the classic version of uh, Superboy Prime. Or you could recreate the Infinite Crisis version of the character. Or the Yellow Lantern version from the Green Lantern Sinister Core War. Or the version from uh, Countdown to Final Crisis. Uh, you decide. So that would be an option if you want to create an evil Superman uh, character, if you're playing a, a villain character, obviously. And as a bonus, let's take a look where we can get the uh, the, Super Memori the Superman Memorial for the, uh, the death of Superman. That came from the 80th anniversary of uh, Superman event which is a pretty cool uh, looking base item for your base. So let's go take a look where you can get that. So you can get it from the equipment supplier DS. Uh, there, there's uh, one supplier in the, the watchtower as you can see. And there is also uh, the very same vendor in the doomed metropolis map. Each piece of enhanced battle armor is available in multiple combat roles and customizable colors. So if you look in the vendor, it is called uh, Superman Rubble. Uh, sadly, it costs 100 tribute, so it's a little bit pricey. But it's a pretty, pretty cool looking uh, base item for your base, if you want to. And of course, there is our friend Crypto that has his uh, little Superman cape. Uh, sadly, uh, you can't wear that one. It's his alone. So that is pretty much it for how to get the Superman cape. Uh, if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask so in the comment section down below, and I'll see what I can do about answering your questions. So as always guys, thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll see you guys next time. Ah, uh, poor crypto. So that's it for now guys. So as always, thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.